just thought I was kidding. You guys even thought, man, yeah, Hedemans Dragon might not even try it. But you're wrong. Hedemans Dragon is going to do this. For those of you who don't know, I'm going to start making some martial art videos. Some martial art cosplay videos, actually. Some fighting videos. You know, some comedic type of relief. If you guys would love to see that, do me one quick favor. For those of you who are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, notification bell for any of my future videos coming up later on in the future. And of course, share this video with your friends. And wish me luck. Say break a leg. Don't you dare say, I said don't, don't. Don't say the G L. Don't say. The editor just put down that those two words that literally break every actor's mojo. Okay, you know what? Now, personally, I am an actor. If you have not already noticed that, and I have been in some fight scenes, and I have been in, I played an antagonist. Now, I personally do not know how to start off being in a martial arts action filmmaking industry. I know how to make some videos but would not know how to actually incorporate it to other people. I mean, of course, some people did ask for some advice. I did try my very best, but here's what I love to do. Get it from the very best, the very best. That's right, today, we're gonna to be reacting to Martial Club style of action. Where a better way to learn how to do these action and fight scenes from the best. That Jackie Chan himself asked these guys for some help. You know, that says a lot. The legend himself asked for help. So, without further ado, let's go into the rest of the video, shall we? Also, if you guys have not already known, see my merch down here? The pillow? Yours truly designed this work. And of course, there's not just that, there's other, you know, shirts, masks, and stuff like that. I'm launching a video out soon on my merch popping out. If you guys want to support your dude, Go ahead and click the link down below in the description. And, of course, share this video with your friends. How many times do I have to keep saying that? Now, I'm going to turn the camera this way. Well, I'm not. Okay, so you're going to turn the camera this way? How are we going to figure this out if we're going to keep doing this? I mean, every single time we do this video, we got to figure this out, do it. What? The camera's not that. There's another camera that... Bruh. Thanks, Mark. Anyway. <laughs> Without further ado, guys, let's go on to the rest of the video, shall we? Which begins right about. You know, I feel a good vibe coming from it when I do this. This video is really going to help me out a lot. Not only that, the other dudes are also going to be helping me, out, helping me out with this video. With these videos, with these martial art videos. Don't worry, I'm still going to do reactions. I'm still going to do reactions. Just also cosplay and martial arts. Now. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Ooh. Now you gotta love this. Uh, hunger. Oh, and the lead! Ah. Oh! Hey. Hey. I remember practicing stuff like this. In case those of you do not know what this stuff is, it's tricky. It's when you add some cool flares and kicks and stuff like that. 540 kicks, ball kicks, stuff like that. When we train, we always have to take time to experiment with new stuff, you know? Like, remember when Tony Jaw came out with Hong Bok and it was groundbreaking. Yeah. That was groundbreaking. He was doing stuff that wasn't ever done before. So, um, I think it's important, yes, you learn from the veterans that come before you, but on top of that, you just gotta add the new flavor and just bring some new stuff to the table, or else you're just gonna be doing stuff that's already been done. So that's what, that's we, right. that's what we're doing with these kicks. Oh, yeah. Oh, a nice round off! Oh, to a somersault. Oh, oh, to a dive roll somersault. Oh, snap. The angles, the camera shots you pick have to cater to the movie. For example, let's say if you throw, throw a punch, right? Uh, Bonsa, right? Yes. You see the beauty, you see the lines of the Bonsa right here. Right? Yeah. You see, the, you see the, the cross and the snap and like, boom, here, right? Go ahead, what? You see the tangle, right? Like You see this nice shape. Now, on the other hand, I would never shoot a Bonsa. Here? 
here, let's say if I throw a roundhouse kick, right? Boom. <laughs> angle that, that. Let's say if I throw a roundhouse kick, the camera can pull back. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so boom, boom, the camera can pull back. So boom, you can see like oh, extension. Oh, when we I get uh, that now. direct action, we like to pull the camera back and let the performers do their thing. And that's the highest level of action filmmaking, of martial arts action filmmaking. In Hollywood movies now, you have the director, right? Stunt coordinator, fight coordinator, a fight choreographer. That's like 35 cooks in the kitchen. So by the time <laughs> the director's idea goes all the way down to the fight choreography, it's all fragmented. Now see, I get it now, because I always try to work on the angles too. Like, because it really means a lot. People who don't understand this, camera angles work a lot for the better of the video. Oh, oh, oh. Woo! Oh. Dangerous is good! Dangerous is good! Yeah, dangerous is good. Robo, you good, man? You're right, dude. He knocked your teeth out. Yeah, oh, you good? Okay, you good. <laughs> so his whole life passed before his eye. Western movies nowadays, you'll shoot a master shot, and then they'll have the A cam, B cam, like so two extra cameras just kind of shoot, capture whatever, like this. And if you see a thumbnail here, and there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, you and then they'll just take all this and they give it to an editor who knows anything about martial arts, nothing about pacing and timing, and just like, and then by the time it, the final cut comes out, it just it just looks like crap. I get dizzy, dude. Like, actually, what I feel is missing a lot nowadays is the lack of understanding of filmmaking and martial arts mm. at the same time. Because like, I don't feel like there's enough people out there who understand both. You have someone who understands filmmaking, who understands the camera side, right? But they don't understand martial arts, so they don't know how to cater the camera to the action to optimize the martial arts. But you have a martial artist who doesn't know how to operate a camera, who doesn't think about angles or what looks good in the frame. But if you have someone who is a master at both, that you and over, you know it's gonna work. That's what we're trying to bring back. One thing I think that's important that's missing a lot nowadays is the sense of timing and rhythm. They had this in Hong Kong movies back in the day. But sometimes you're just throwing punch and kick, right? Any, anybody can throw punch and kick. They've been doing that for years, you know? Yeah. But sometimes you can create like a more satisfying flow when you have the rhythm. So boom, 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 boom. You watch Jackie's oh. interview where uh, Jackie said he even took notes of the rhythm first, and then he'll fill in. The movements and the choreo after. Yeah. Well, that's how important the yeah. rhythm is. You can't be like that. You can't go. All right, guys. He's right. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I know we've been on a hiatus. Um, we've been kind of behind the scenes working on a very big project. Yes, sir. That takes a lot of time to prep, but I promise you it's going to be worth it. And also, for obvious reasons, Brian, you know, he. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> cast might be a little bit, but um, we're still. You still plan on pumping out well, that's part of being showbiz, guys. You're gonna have to break a few limbs just to make a few scenes, you know. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but also. Hey, yo, guys, and just because you're injured doesn't mean it gives you an excuse to stop doing whatever the yeah. you're doing. You see exactly. That's only one limb. I got, I got the other limb. All right, we're gonna close it here. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, check out our shop. Uh, for for some gear, please stay tuned. We're gonna be releasing videos every Monday, and we got a big one coming up. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Peace out. Bye. Now I learned a lot. I mean, there were some of these things I already knew before too. But one thing I understand the most is that it, it really does make a lot of sense. People don't understand this. People think, oh, if you got a filmmaker, you can make a you can make a movie. Or you got if you got a martial artist, you can definitely make a movie. Here's the thing. I'm a martial artist. But making a film, I'm not that, you know, keen to it. I mean I am all for it to making a film. But I don't know like the nitty gritty because I being on set of Ross and L, which is the the movie I was actually in that was filmed here in Aiden, North Carolina. Being there, 
I seen a lot of things that I didn't even expect to happen. I was able to help out on set. I was able to write down the cues, write down the sets, back to scene one, back to one, which means you start back over, and then you go back for back and forth until until not only you think it's only one shot, you think it's only one shot, maybe like two or three. No, the director decides whether he or she thinks it's done. I mean, like for instance, like the camera angles. Like I could be talking to you guys like this direction. Now, if I was like in a in a movie scene and this is a scene I'm talking to the camera like in this direction, now the director he or she will want me to do it in a different angle. I might have to be from right this angle, and then have to do it again. And the next thing you know is I'll be on this angle, all over again. At this angle, I gotta say it over again. This angle, this angle, repeatedly until he or she feels like that's good. I mean, one minute I can talk to you guys from this direction, and I can talk to you guys from this direction. Even down here, it's crazy, right? Basically, guys, it's very, it's very more complex than that. But I mean, once you get the hang of it, filmmaking is not that bad. Really, it isn't. I mean, the camera angles make the scenes. And what they were saying, like when you can just do like fight scene right here, and then you can back up, and then you can see the rest of the knee strikes. My wallet just hit me right in the pelvis. The kicks. And you hold the strikes and all that, and makes it look more. It makes it look more realistic. And not only that, movement to the camera says a lot. But not just shaking the camera around, but just getting them to hold it. See, I, me being on like me making my own videos, and having people help me make my videos, I learn a lot. And you guys can learn a lot too. You don't have to be like you don't have to weigh yourself by like oh high tech cameras and crew and stuff like that. You got a phone camera. You got a phone camera. Make it there. Make it work. I mean, if you guys love making film, making videos, use it. This helps make you get used to getting in front of the camera and how to make other people understand what you want them to do. And if you are a martial artist and a filmmaker, God bless you. And if you're a martial artist, find a filmmaker. If you're a filmmaker, find a martial artist. Trust me, you will make a lot of heavenly videos if you if you figure this out. Trust me, this is why this is the reason why I brought this video out so we can figure this out. So I can figure this out, so I can talk to my dudes, talk to my guys, and so we can get things done. So we can get things done. This is gonna be my year. Ha, <laughs> yeah, the fire ox. Actually, it's the middle ox. You're the ox. Still is it. Still there. Fire ox. I'm fire ox. Guess what? Still going to be my year. And it's gonna be all our year. Anyway, you guys, thank you for thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys you of those of you who stuck around this long, you guys are true. Fox Dragon Hybrid heroes, Fox Dragon Hybrid family members, para mi gente, you guys are true, true to the th through and through, that's it. I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> the guys make it this far, thank you guys so much for like tuning in, thank you guys so much for helping make it over this 337, like, that's right, 337 subscribers, milestone, that's right, let's make it up to 400, and then to 500, but right now we're just taking it up. Of 100, 100, 100. Come on, well, over 100. Make it to 400. Guess what? We're gonna do some make some R sharp videos. Trust me, I'm I'm game for it. I'm game for it. You tell I am, and I'm not gonna go ahead and let you guys down on that. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys up on what I'm gonna do next. <laughs> if you guys are not already done, so go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, notification bell for any of my future videos coming up in the later future. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed day, and I hope you guys stay safe. The COVID may be dying down for most places, but it still is on the look, guys. It's still on the wear. Be, I want you guys to be very safe. Thank you guys so much, and I really appreciate you guys putting your comments down, suggestions. I really do appreciate it. You guys don't know how much this means to me, and I really do appreciate it a lot. And hopefully, soon enough, I like to do not only these martial arts videos, but also some gameplays, and you know. Whatever God has for me to plan, God had plans for me. So I'm just going for what I got. And right now, my soul says, make these videos. So let's go ahead and make these up. Let's go ahead and make these videos, guys. Peace out. Bye,